So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit more details on housing and how that works. So when you're applying to UK, you're going to go through um, the application process and then when you get accepted, hopefully, um, there will be a housing portal. And so through this, this is where you pick where you want to live. So if you live nearby, feel free to live at home. If you feel more comfortable buying your own apartment or house um, that's off campus but near campus, if that makes sense, um, feel free to do so. I know a lot of people that live off campus but either bike, skateboard, or drive to campus for their classes and that works out really well for them. I would highly, highly, highly recommend living in a dorm freshman year because there are so many people within your dorm that you get to meet on your floor and it's a really nice way to kind of build a sense of the community. Some dorms have only one type of room so I'm in Woodland Glen 2 right now for the STEM Cats dorm. My roommate and I have a two bedroom suite and so um, this is the most common actually room for UK. It's really nice and if you ever have any roommate troubles, I hope you guys don't, but if you do, there is a door to your own room so you can be pretty separated if you need to be. But there are also other options for two person rooms that I'll show you guys. Um, and in addition to that, there can also be four person suites. Um, and so these are the least common, but if you want to find four roommates, there are lots of opportunities to live with four roommates in the bigger um, residence halls on the north side of campus. Most dorms that we have here are co-ed and even on the same floor, so in my dorm, having the two person suites, it is a co- my neighbors are guys um, and on the other side of the hallway there's more girls, so it's very collective, but we each have our own bathrooms in our dorm and so that's not necessarily a problem so it's not you will never have a communal bathroom also UK is really amazing because everyone that lives in the dorms gets a Tempur-Pedic bed and that is a guarantee um, it's hard to get out of bed I will say that but it's really really great so dorm life here is stellar so unfortunately since the four bedrooms aren't the most common I don't have very many people that I know that have one of these so I couldn't physically go in to see them but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what they look like on the website because they're pretty accurate representations so this is a four bedroom suite and so you'll have your own you still have the separate rooms but you have a really nice um, living area. This does not have separation, but you still have enough privacy with the other two people. You can bunk your beds and stack them, or you can choose to have them separate. So this is pretty common for a four-person suite, but this is only in two dorms. Here is a four-bedroom apartment, so this is only available in the apartments, so this is not a dorm. Um, and so this is just a normal apartment with separate rooms. This is a vir virtual representation of what my dorm is. Um, and so you can see that it's pretty accurate. So this would be my room and this is Lauren's room. And so then you walk in here and there is the common area space. And then we have our own bathroom on the bottom left. This is a two bedroom deluxe suite. And so in addition to the same area that Lauren and I have in our dorm, you have a full kitchen and a full living area. And if you guys were to choose to have an apartment, this is what it would look like. So it's pretty similar, but it is definitely more spacious. You have a full kitchen um, and a full living room, as well as your own bathroom and shower and all those amenities. So these are the least common. This is a two person suite. Um, and so this is kind of similar to the picture shown above for the four-person suite. You and your roommate will have no division at all. Um, you share the same room. It's kind of a more traditional college dorm setup. So if you guys did want to live in an apartment, but you didn't want to live in an apartment off campus, some of the apartments that I was showing you on my computer those, um, we have the University Flats, and so that is a building that is on campus, but it is all apartment based. They're the nicest apartments that we have here on campus, um, the nicest residential building that we have here on campus. That's what I would 
consider it as. Um, and you even have your own washer and dryer. So normally in dorms, you have to go down to the basement to do your laundry, but you have all those amenities right there. In terms of housing from going from freshman year to sophomore year to junior year and on, um, if you guys are in a sorority or fraternity, you are free to live in the house, um, but it's different for each sorority and fraternity. If you want to be an RA, that's a possibility, a residential advisor. Um, and so you can still continue to live in the dorms through your sophomore year and junior year if you are an RA. But most commonly, you live in the dorms freshman year and then sophomore year and on you live off campus in either an apartment, um, on campus in an apartment in the university flats or in, an own, in your own house um, that you might share with some of your closest friends. Personally, I'm in the dorm, obviously, my freshman year, and next year I will be living in the Kyo house, which I'm so excited for. And then after that, um, I'll probably get a house with some of my friends or an apartment. So that's the most common thing that you'll see here with housing um, and kind of how it differs year to year.